Hi Pisces, how are you? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I have your reading all laid out for you guys, so let's begin. Pisces, at the base of your reading, you have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So first and foremost, I will say that I do feel a lot of cerebral energy for you guys. I feel like you guys are stepping into um, a period where you are using your intellect. So you could have gone from an energy, you know, we're in Capricorn season, of course, um, you know, very focused on, on your finances, but you could have gone from very discerning, uh, quick-witted, um, logical, okay, perceptive person to maybe being a little bit cold, detached, maybe a little bit cruel, okay? People in your surroundings could be seeing that um, you're a little detached or cold at this time, okay? Um, some resentment could be coming up as well. And so what's helping or hindering that, I'm sorry, what's confirming the Queen of Swords in the reverse is the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So maybe you're overwhelmed with work. You have a lot going on, a lot on your plate right now and, and juggling. Um, so you're a little overwhelmed, okay? Causing you to be a little short. Your conscious mind, Pisces, we have the Queen, um, I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, <laughs> I apologize. And so this visual is interesting because this King of Wands, how it's placed on the table, is looking down at the Queen of Swords. Not literally looking down, but looking her way. So there could be a fire sign in your surroundings that is keeping an eye on you, okay? That wants to take some action towards you, Pisces. Um, because they don't feel the celebration or the support during this time. And uh, they're a little restless and stressed out, okay? This could also speak to your energy as well, okay? Being the leader, overcoming any challenges, taking on that, you know... Um, King of Wands energy, the fire energy blazing through, getting things done. I also believe that um, Sagittarius, uh, Mars enters Sagittarius for the next six weeks. So this is a time that you're going to be very much focused on getting things done, focused on your finances, um, a lot of expansion if you use this time wisely, Pisces. So overcoming any challenges here, taking action, okay, conquering whatever dragons you need to conquer. Um, but this could be a time where your relationships, um, you know, there could be a lack of support. You could feel lack of support or you can be demonstrating a lack of support. And uh, it's it's also a time where you're a little restless as well, okay? Doing a lot, maybe uh, not being able to sleep as well, okay? So what's helping or hindering you, Pisces, is the strength. So you could be dealing with the Leo, but I also feel here, Pisces, that during this time, it's ebbs and flows, right? So during this time that you are in a more masculine energy, a more cerebral type of energy here, I do feel that uh, you with the Queen of Swords have learned, uh, in, in the Queen of Swords in the reverse, you have learned um, a lot, Pisces. You're, you're more conscious of, of how to maneuver these energies and I do feel like you are maneuvering uh, these, these situations a lot more uh, effortlessly than, than before, okay? You're more conscious, uh, of, of how to uh, really deal with all this that's going on, okay? So therefore you don't get as knocked off your balance as, as maybe you did once before, all right? So in your subconscious mind, we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So there is a uh, lack of, of, of inner satisfaction in regards to something. This situation maybe with uh, that you've been dealing with uh, an external person or an external situation um, hasn't been satisfying you. So you're having some sudden awareness that you really want to choose happiness. You want to place your energy elsewhere. And therefore, you're walking away from some things. You're not afraid to walk from uh, away from the, these eight cups because you're moving towards ten, okay? The ten of cups here. So you're moving towards firmer and, and, and bigger grounds here, Pisces, okay? Effects of the past, we have the Empress in the reverse, okay? So something was not allowed to blossom, something wasn't growing, something wasn't expanding, it was at a standstill. Now, your next move, Pisces, is the Five of Swords. So I feel here like, uh, you know, you, Pisces, um, uh, I think that you, in this situation, uh, could have a little bit of lingering resentment, and I only say that because the Queen of Swords is coming out in the reverse, okay? Um, but for others, there's someone around in your surroundings that wants to reconcile. They want to compromise. You're having some regrets from the past here, okay? Someone that wants to put more energy and diligence, okay? And, uh, you know, more work into um, having something here with you or pursuing something here with you because they understand that you are their fulfillment, Pisces, okay? They've had some time to, to retreat, okay? Isolate, get in touch with, with what's going on inside of them, make sense of that, okay? And they've come to the conclusion that you are their fulfillment, okay? 
And if this is only you, Pisces, in regards to just yourself, you're definitely, um, you know, assessing the situation here, Pisces, and you no longer want to be in, in this uh, predicament, this, this conflict, okay? You've isolated as well to make sense of, of your feelings, and you are possibly deciding to put your energy into something new, energy and diligence and ambition into a new endeavor, okay, a different direction where it is going to bring you fulfillment. Now, Pisces, how you see yourself, we have the Six of Swords. So you see yourself as walking away from something, and that was clarified by... The lovers in the reverse, you're walking away from a love situation or partnership, okay? That was tense, that was imbalanced, all right? You've accepted here with the Five of Cups, accepted the situation, and the wheel is turning in your favor, Pisces. What was once down is now up. What was once up is now down, okay? That's how it works. So the wheel is in your favor now, and um, you are really pursuing, wanting to pursue whatever fulfills you, okay? What, whatever dreams you have. And this could also be, Pisces, that now that you're do, accepting uh, this imbalanced situation and deciding to move forward, someone is wanting to come through and offer some sort of romantic gesture here towards you, okay? Like the tables are very much turning, all right? So in your environment, Pisces, uh, we had the judgment in the reverse. So there's someone that has a lot of, of doubt, okay? Lack of self-awareness, maybe a lack of making some sort of decision or some judgment call or fear of making the wrong one, okay? I feel here like they do want to take uh, a new path with you, an exciting new path um, with a lot of freedom and adventure here. But they see you Pisces or they sense you maybe sneaking away from a situation here, okay? They feel like you're sneaking away. They feel like this partnership is tense, okay? They feel like you're, you know, ending things or cutting things off with them um, and walking away here with the Six of Cups in the reverse. And they feel like the wheel is not in their favor, okay? They're they're seeing how the tables are turning. They're seeing what's what's uh, what they once did to you now is being done to them, okay? Your hopes and fears, Pisces, is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So maybe you fear this 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 lack of stability, these lack of resources, or maybe this this culmination that you were looking towards that won't happen. The family, the dog, the house, you know, having being well off. Okay, and the outcome, the moon, Pisces, your energy here. Okay, this this could also speak. We have a full moon coming up, so uh, I feel that this lunar cycle, especially this, is going to be um, an eclipse. Is going to be uh, very important. It's going to do some clearing, but this is your energy. This could also be some instability coming up, some unconscious thoughts coming up, okay, for some people. So Pisces, I do feel like um, with this new moon cycle, it's, it's bringing out a side of you, okay, more masculine, more structured here. Um, again, I feel like that Mars in Sagittarius energy for the next six weeks, that's going to be very important for you guys, okay? I, I believe, Pisces, I can't stress this enough that if you use this time wisely, it's going to be rapid expansion because you're going to get so much done and, and we're going to move forward. I'm just going to show you this accelerated motion. We'll get here though. Um, but yeah, I, I do feel that you're maybe now with this person, you know, afraid to, to make some sort of decision, afraid to move forward with them in some way. You're releasing burdens, okay, that were too heavy for you to carry, okay? Maybe feeling a little lazy about putting any work into the situation anymore with this person. Um, and you could be feeling just a little self-centered, okay? Maybe just taking your energy and focusing it all on you at this time, okay? Healing, you, you're really healing and things are improving for you. Now, if this is another person, Pisces, this emperor here, uh, this masculine energy is having some a little bit of men mental instability at this time, okay? I do feel like they're afraid to make some changes and things are getting overwhelmingly heavy for them to carry. I do feel that things could be making them a little obsessive, this whole situation here with you. And jealous, okay? They could be very jealous at this time and wanting to heal a situation and improve a situation here with you, okay? This is what's bringing out of them. Now, when I uh, clarified with um, the Oracle cards, we got walking away and uh, the first chakra here. So this man here, uh, this masculine energy I'm feeling is, is definitely is being triggered, okay? Some things are coming out of them, root chakra issues here. Um, because Pisces, you're walking away. They feel you walking away. You're a little, you're detached and you you know, I don't feel like you're, trying to do this on purpose, but I feel like this energy is coming in, sweeping, and you're really focusing on, on, on your career, 
um, very, again, very cerebral, okay? And this person is feeling that energy, all right? Now, when I got the Oracle cards, the first two cards that popped out were uh, Deception and Envy and Accelerated Motion. And if you see this man, he's looking at this woman. Pisces, things are speeding up for you, okay? I believe, you know, you're coming into more consciousness, but I feel things in your 3D reality are definitely taking off. There's a lot of movement for you. And this uh, person could be definitely envious, a little deceptive, you know, not telling you or showing you how they feel, but definitely, you know, wanting you in, in their space and in their surroundings and they see you kind of doing your own thing and, and, and going off, okay? But things are speeding up for you, Pisces, in an awesome way. Then we got here the, the third chakra, Pisces, um, here, eye chakra, okay? So I feel here like you are having the wisdom, okay? The, the intuitive knowing Pisces that you have to sacrifice some things from the past some perspectives some some perceptions you are detaching yourself sacrificing something in order to transform um, into a new situation okay transform yourself okay you're having this intuitive knowing and this could also be this person in your surroundings that's also having this intuitive knowing okay that's getting this guidance that they have to sacrifice their bs in order to transform the situation with you and get a desired outcome and transform all together all right now, Pisces, when I clarified who was this, uh, who was this fire sign, okay? We got the seven of pentacles. So it's someone here that wants to plant new seeds with you, Pisces. We have the hierophant, someone that is maybe a spiritual teacher or some sort of mentor in their community, okay? Or someone that wants to definitely take things to the next level, make, thing more, th make things more structured, okay? Um, more committed in some way, okay? Because there, there is a new cycle that's taking place for them and they also see you Pisces here with the world as their fulfillment, as their harmony, all right? They're coming into that knowing. Now, when I got some spirit animal cards, Pisces, the two cards that popped out for you were the bee and the firefly. So Pisces, absolutely putting you're putting a lot of work a lot of energy a, a lot of work into into your uh, creative endeavors and into, into work in specific you're just working 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 you're a busy bee pisces busy bee and the firefly so you are having these creative bursts okay this burst of energy of inspiration um that you are needing to use during this time again the, the mars and sagittarius energy okay the firefly is a burst it can't sustain this this energy for long but you are having creative ideas a lot of ideas okay and, and and working a lot so you should be taking this time and this energy and creating something into your 3d reality because this is a perfect time to create okay and um for your person pisces the energy we got for them we got the scorpion here in the reverse the turtle and the panther so i do feel that this person is dabbling in in the waters okay the turtle and the scorpion okay um uh, scorpion is not necessarily a water sign but um it is a water sign but a water animal um so i do feel pisces again that you guys have some in, in a way switch roles okay you are more masculine more cerebral type of energy and they're taking on a more feminine um emotional stance here okay i feel like they're heavily and deeply thinking about this whole scenario with you but the scorpion can sting itself okay um it's almost like an obsessive energy i do feel like this person in be is in between um you know worlds i feel here like you know the turtle could be a land creature and it could be a water creature i feel like they're they're kind of uh, seeing where their, their next step is, okay? And really letting their intuition, um, trying to have that balance of, of logic and intuition to get them there. But I do feel like they are triggered, Pisces. I do feel like, um, you know, you kind of retreating and, and, and maybe, um, you know, not saying, hey, I'm going to back off, but your energy kind of being felt and you going into that more cerebral space and that more masculine energy, they're being triggered. They're being triggered, especially since they're in, the, in a more feminine um, you know, emotional type of energy at this time. Now, Pisces, the two abundance cards that we got for you were unlimited ideas and have courage to ask and accept for help, okay? So unlimited ideas, firefly, Pisces. These are the ideas, the burst of inspiration and ideas that are coming to you, okay, Pisces? Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. Pisces, do something with these ideas that are coming to you, okay? You are going to thank yourself later, okay? The ideas are coming to you. Make sure you um, anchor them down, okay? Ground yourself. Maintain grounded so you can bring them into your 3D reality. 
and ask ask for help if you need to okay support is all around you at this time pisces okay and so the last thing pisces when we got advice for you we got the moon here for a second time okay the moon was in your outcome so this is your energy pisces all right again full moon coming up uh, very soon here on the 10th and i'm being drawn to these two dogs because i was doing a, a reading off camera um, for Pisces energy um, and their person. And so the, the energy of the person external to Pisces that I got when I did that with the animal cards were the wolf and then the fox. This is not a fox, but two dogs, okay? So this is someone that is like a loyal heart to you, Pisces. They're almost like yearning for you at this time. They're hollering at the moon, okay? In, in a time that you are, um, your intuition is on point, you're like kind of shining, um, you know, as a bright light to this person, okay? Embrace here the attention that you're getting. Embrace the success that you're getting. You're in your energy, Pisces, okay? So um, that is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that that was helpful. Um, interesting energy here. So uh, you guys are going to have to let me know what you think. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.